Hi friends, I am so excited today to bring you 19 drugstore dupes for high-end makeup. This is my biggest dupes ever. I wanted to compile a lot of dupes that I talked about in the past for you guys, but I also have a few in here that you haven't seen before. It is doing this complete makeup look. It is a fall makeup look, which I'm super excited about. Can you tell which side it is? I don't think that you can because I sure couldn't if I was just, you know, looking at someone that had this on. So I hope that you're as excited as I am to see this many dupes in one video. Thank you so much for tuning in. If you're new, I hope that you do subscribe. Please give this video a thumbs up and let's get right into this look right here that is 19 different dupes on my face. But I found from Milk Makeup their Hydro Grip primer so it's hydrating and it's gripping it really feels very hydrating and immediately when you put it on you get this feeling of it's almost a sticky feeling and i hate to use that word it grips on to that foundation so well that your foundation is going to last all day so i have really kind of fallen in love with that the dupe for it is from nyx and this is the honey do me now this really has just kind of been touted as a hydrating primer not necessarily a gripping primer and what this is it's a little bit thinner than the milk makeup one and as it dries down you're going to feel that little bit of tackiness that little bit of grip same thing as the milk makeup one we're going to be working first with the new nudes from huda beauty this is a very beautiful palette and i have loved it from the minute it came out i used it and it's just one that really drew me in and we're going to start out with this light peach color right here it's it's quite light so as you're working with it you're gonna see that it really will brighten up the eye look and I'm just gonna use that as a transition color and get that blended in the quality of this palette is just wonderful everything is so blendable the mattes are great they last a long time all of the shadows in here do last a long time and I'm gonna go directly into the pro mastery palette from LA girl. I love this palette. I showed it in some of my favorites and it's just one of those really great palettes. So we're going into the peach in here as well. This is such a close dupe for the Huda Beauty one. I actually like this formula a little so better. We're going to match up these colors and we're going to use that peach first. I love all of these LA girl palettes because they have fantastic mirror in them. I mean that whole lid right there is a mirror so you can do your whole entire makeup look. For our next shade I'm going to use this pink color right here. Um, it is a really pretty almost a warm pink rose and I'm going to be using that as my crease color. Staying out here just barely above the crease I guess not quite the crease color and then in the pro mastery palette from LA girl is this color right here which is very very close to it. And then on a shader brush, um, I'm going to take these two colors right here and mix them a little bit together. And they're just going to deepen up that outer part of the lid. And then I'm going into the LA Girl palette and I'm going to use this color right here, which is basically just the color that I mixed in the other one. And it's just kind of a deeper burgundy. When you work with this palette, you're going to be so shocked at how creamy and buttery their mattes are i just think they're next level beautiful as a lid color from the new nudes palette i'm going to go into this shimmer right here and it's going to go across the lid and then from the la girl is this one down here and these aren't exactly matches but boy they are close and when you get them on your eye you're not going to be able to tell much I just think that this palette matches it so closely that if you've been wanting the new nudes, then dive into that because it really is a beautiful, creamy, luxe palette. I love it. I use the highbrow from Benefit to go into my waterline. It's super creamy and it brightens up that inner waterline so well. But the dupe for it that I've talked about a lot is from Wet n Wild. This is their brow highlighter and this I love and I use this in my waterline line as well. I like this one better because you guys, this one just sticks in that brow, in that waterline, excuse me. Go ahead and use a second coat 
Um, this one from Benefit won't stay on as long as the one from Wet n Wild. Now we're going to move on to foundations. One of the foundations that I fell in love with the very first time I tried it is from NARS, and this is their Ra Natural Radiant Longwear Foundation. I have the color DeVille, which is a little bit dark for me right now. Um, I'm really light right now, but that's okay. We're going to make this work. Um, I'm going to use a couple of pumps because it comes out in very small pumps to begin with but can you see how yellow that is hopefully you can i'm going to have to use my mixing pigment from la girl in the blue and i'm just going to put a little bit of blue in there to offset that yellow color and that's going to help me out a lot i'm going to dot this around my face and then this is a dupe that I don't have the dupe for, but these sponges that I get off of Amazon are totally a dupe for the Beauty Blender. So if you're in love with the Beauty Blender and you think that you can't find one as good anywhere else, these are like $10 for a package of five. They're fabulous. So I really do love them. And I'm just spraying them with like a Max Fix Plus, any sort of primer water that you might have. And then I'm just going to work this in. Going to take a little bit more and go, go on these places that I have a lot of discoloration and just blend that out a little bit more. This foundation covers so well. It is so pretty. You can't see any of my uh, scarring, any of my pimples or anything that I have right now. And I just love that about it. My dupe that I chose for it that is one of my very, very favorite foundations is from number, number seven, Lift and Illuminate Triple Action Serum Foundation. This has that same radiant property or that illuminating property that the NARS does. It is actually a little bit better for my mature skin because it's lighter. It feels good on the skin. It's a beautiful illuminating finish. I just really like it. And on the other side of that sponge, I'm just going to work this side in. I will say that this is a little bit lighter as far as its coverage goes. I kind of like that though. I like having a lot of coverage, but what's going to happen with this is it's going to cover well, but it's still going to let some of my skin show through. I didn't talk to you guys about this color. This is such a good color. They have cool and warm tones on the website, and then also they carry them in Target. So this is cool ivory, and for my cool undertone, it is so good. And now as I've worked Work that in. I'm going to come a little bit closer. Can you guys see any difference whatsoever on those two? All right. Not long ago, I did tell you a dupe for the Born This Way from Too Faced, their conceal. And I think this is multi-use sculpting concealer. I really, really like this. It's a great formula. It's a great coverage. It's really good for mature skin. It's one that I really love, but I have been trying to get away from purchasing anything from Too Faced. That's another whole other video. I like this one because it does have a little bit of an undertone of yellow and my under eyes are so purple that you have to use something that has a little bit of yellow. So as soon as I work this around just a little bit, I'm going to leave it. I'm not going to work it all the way in. And the dupe that I found for it, Makeup I Revolution, their new Conceal and Define, their Infinite. And this is the best concealer I have used in a very long time. I don't think it's just a dupe. I think it's way better. And I'm in love with it. So I'm just going to, because a lot more comes out of this, I'm just going to dot that there and I'm going to dot that there there on my eyes and then I'm going to just work it in and sorry I'm flipping you off every time aren't I and I'm just going to work it in just like I did the other one this will cover oh my word okay so I'm not working that in all the way again I'm going to stop right there I'm going to do my my brows with the elf wow brow this is a dupe exactly for the little benefit one and it's also a, a dupe for the glossier boy brow it has a little tiny wand on it this one has fibers in it so i'm just going to go ahead and work this into my eyebrows and be right back okay brows are done so this is set up and i'm just going to work it in the rest of the way what is beautiful about the new infinite concealer that you're going to see on this other side is that it will set down by itself now if you live in a humid climate if you live somewhere where it's really warm then you're going to want to set this no matter what with a powder or a setting spray i use a very tiny amount of the hourglass ambient lighting powders 
to set it just because it's so humid right now. Normally I wouldn't have to, but on the Too Faced I would have to no matter what. And I am just going very, very, very lightly across that. And then the dupe for it is the Milani Prep Set and Glow. I've talked about this before as well. And then just go across that ever so slightly. I normally don't use powders there, but I've been finding that since I've had so many hot flashes, it does have a tendency to melt. All right, we're going to move on with eyeliner. I love to do a nice eyeliner underneath my eyes and bring it about a third of the way over and then smudge it. And what I'm using right now is the Urban Decay Vice 24-7 liner. The color is Vice. And I'm just going to go ahead and I'm just going to lay that down. And these two colors that I'm going to show you, the next color, is just so pretty. Work with one eye at a time. So then you have the actual eyeliner and you can go in with a pencil brush and you can just smudge it out. And then the dupe that I have, I've talked about these like crazy. I don't think I've compared them to the Urban Decay 24-7, but these are the Wanna Get Lucky from Ardell. I think this is just the plum one. What's nice about this compared to the Urban Decay is it is an automatic one. These are super silky and they go on super easily. They're going to be so budge proof. If you decide that you want to put this in your waterline, oh my goodness, it works so good in your waterline. You just um, need to get it worked in there because what happens is if you go back and try to do a second coat, you're going to find that it's dried down and it's going to come off when you're rubbing it with, a, with the liner again. So don't try to do a second coat. Just put as much on the first time as you want to and then just smudge it around this also has a built-in sharpener in the lid which is really nice so these i think are a little bit better than the vice ones i know that they stick better than the vice ones and i love them so from benefit a lot of people's choice for powder bronzer is the hula bronzer and that is this one right here pack that, that in your hand so that it doesn't start out with too much right off the bat and just do the outline of your face to begin with and then you can pinch it and do a little bit of your cheekbone there and that will give you a little bit of contouring for the cheek you can go down the side of the nose a tiny bit if you want to too and then i'm just going to take it and i'm going to buff in all of the bronzer to make it look more natural gonna clean that off and the dupe for it is from the going coconuts line at ColourPop, and this is coconut beach looks right there in the pan it looks so close and it really truly is i like the coconut beach a little bit more obviously because of the cost effectiveness, but I also like that it is just super, super easy to blend. The Hula is too easy to blend, but this one, I don't know. There's something really, really special about this one, and I just love the way that it lays down across the skin. We're going to go into highlighter now. I do this before my blush because I just like the way that it looks on my aging skin, and this is from Ofra. This is the retrograde highlighter, and it has the purpley tone over here and then the champagne champagne tone over here. We're going to be using that champagne tone and I'm going to throw up on the screen what that is actually called. And that is what I have a dupe for. So we're going to be going across here. Oh my goodness. Look at that glow. Wow. And I'm going to clean off that highlighter. And from Maybelline, their Master Chrome, this is number 250. This was originally the one that Nikki Tutorials did. They do still have this at Ulta. I did just check. This one is almost identical to that Ofra one. And again, the glow that it gives is just some next level beauty glow. The blush it's that I chose today is from Clinique. This is one of their Cheek Pops. This is Heather Pop. This is one of my very favorite um, rose colored, very muted blushes and yet it gives a beautiful flush to the cheeks. You can see that I'm really loading it. That's because even though they are a beautiful formula, they're a little bit stiff, but I still love them because they do last on the cheeks a long time. I always and lay a little bit more of my blush down because I know that throughout the day blush does wear off. And the dupe for it is from the new L'Oreal Age Perfect line. This is the Radiant Satin Blush. This one is in the color Muted Mauve and it is a perfect dupe for the color. I actually like this formula a little bit better. You don't have to use quite as much and it just goes on so beautiful. Look who joined us. Are you glad that you stayed this far? <laughs> this is Oliver. He is my new baby and oh my goodness, he is just a lovely, lovely little guy. 
he loves his mom and I love him and I get to introduce you to him so there he is and he is just a sweetheart <laughs> I am so in love with this little man so we need to get on with the tutorial though as a setting powder I chose the Charlotte Tilbury Air airbrush flawless finish powder I have mine in light and yes this does go quickly but this powder is so perfecting I don't need much of it to really just give a beautiful blurring effect to the skin but from number seven this is the lift and luminate um, translucent setting powder. This is absolutely gorgeous. I'm going to show you a brush dupe. This is from it cosmetics and this is a huge Powder brush that I bought. I think it's like $36 or something But the dupe for it is this one from elf and it is 12 bucks And this is one of the best powder brushes I've ever had I think it's softer and it's better than the it brush this powder that is the lift and luminate It still gives that beautiful setting effect, but it has that absolutely gorgeous feel to it across the skin the silk and the blurring effect to it is so beautiful and i can't reiterate enough how much i love this powder i think i like it better personally just because of the way that it blurs everything out so really really love the lift and luminate from um, number seven so beautiful and from cover fx we're going to use this is a travel size of the high performance setting spray this says it's 24 hour wear i hope nobody's wearing their makeup for 24 hours i know that i don't this has a great mister on it you guys i love this mister but this is a very long wearing very wonderful setting spray and i just think it's thebomb.com i can't believe i just said that but it is great and then the one that i've chosen as its dupe is the new conceal and define infinite 16 hour wear from makeup revolution now you also can compare this to the urban decay all-nighter because it's pretty darn close to that now i will say that that sprayer is too much so I'm going to hold that way away from me and it's going to give just a little bit too much. But if you hold it far enough away, it's not going to, you know, get spit at you like some do. I do like the way that this holds the makeup on all day long. For the eyes, the Tarte, the Tartist, Tartiste, whatever it is, Pro liner is so good. I love it. This is a dual ended one. I have a tendency not to use that black side, but I love this side because the tip of this pen is super duper fine. And I just think that it does a great job. So I'm going to curl my lashes. I'm going to immediately after they're curled, put my liner on. From inner corner to almost outer corner I stay away from the very outer corner about a quarter inch so it doesn't pull my um, eye look down because it has a tendency to do that the mascara that I'm absolutely in love with Stila came out with their new waterproof mascara I loved their original so much and I love this one even more because it is the waterproof one this will give you length and volume and all of the things that you need for and the dupe side I'm using physicians for Formula. This is their eye booster waterproof formula and this is supposed to have a lash serum in with it And again, I'm going to go from inner corner To outer corner and there is never a skip There is never anything to worry about because this is black black and it's waterproof So that one is one I love and then the one that I chose as the dupe is the Maybelline falsies This is the lash lift. This again is a waterproof formula. The wand on this is almost identical to the still Stila one this formula from Maybelline it lifts it separates it gives volume it gives length I love this mascara and especially in the waterproof formula. You're not gonna have any flaking You're not gonna have it go anywhere all day long and I just absolutely love it for lipstick don't shoot the messenger about the name of this this is urban decay this is their lipstick it's called violate I didn't name it you guys I like it yes but it is a kind of a purpley lilac color I think it's so beautiful and it is going to go on this side of my lips I did have a liner on already, but the dupe comes from Rimmel. This is number 200 soft hearted This formula is identical. This color is identical You couldn't get any more the same if you just built it yourself they are just exactly dead on and then lastly we are looking at sweet mouth for a lip gloss 
from Fenty Beauty. These are the nicest, loveliest lip glosses. They're so pretty, and I just love how juicy they make your lips look. This doesn't have any color in it. It's just going to give a super duper shine. Just a very clear gloss. And then the dupe to it is from Essence. And this is one of their plumping nude lip glosses. And I don't remember what color this one is in. I'll make sure that I link it in the description box below. But again, this is not one that has any color in it. It just has the, the gloss to it. The difference in the two of these is the Essence will have just... An ever so tiny bit of that plumping effect so that is one thing that you kind of want to be aware of anyway take a look I'm gonna do my hair and I'm gonna come back and we're gonna talk a little bit about all of these so what do you think you guys I am so excited about bringing you 19 different dupes this was a video that I took a long time compiling but I'm super proud of it because it is kind of like the greatest hits of drugstore dupes ever and so i hope that you did enjoy it as much as i did leave in the comment section which product you're going to try or if you're going to if you already have some of these and you're going to look at them and try them and i hope that you did enjoy it a lot please give it a thumbs up thanks so much for spending a bit of your day with me today please stay happy stay healthy stay sanitized and i will catch you all in my very next video i love you bye guys <laughs>